Hey guys, it's uh, Friday night, uh, 5 1 uh, 2020. So I thought I'd do another video um, or a video tonight. Um, there's a few things I want to talk about tonight. Um, you know, I want to I clarify something though. Um, you know, the video I made last night and I was talking about e beggars and uh, these people that make videos on false flagging all the time and all that stuff. I wasn't talking about TIs or anything like that. I'm talking about those people in that group of people on YouTube that um, they say everything's a false flag and nobody really dies and nobody, you know, I mean, they say it about everything, you know, which I just, I don't agree with that kind of talk or whatever. So I just want to clarify that part. Um, <clears throat> you know, so there's not a whole lot going on, but I, I do want to talk about something. I, you know, I... Uh, you, you know, I, I told you guys uh, a while back, you know, maybe six months ago that I got diagnosed. Obviously, you know, I was in the psych ward three times and all this stuff. Fake psych ward, you know. And they diagnosed me and they put me on medications. The lowest, the lowest, lowest dose um, of medications. Risperdone or Risperdol uh, I'm on. Um, so I take two pills one milligram each super 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 low dose you know and then I take and then they gave me another pill for side effects um, well you know what I found out is that they changed my medication uh, they lowered the dose of my medication so now I'm only taking uh, before I was taking two two milligrams a day you know, two one milli I was taking two one milligram tabs a day. So now they reduced it. Um, so I'm only taking one tab a day, and it's only one milligram. It's it's like taking nothing. All right, you know, it's like taking nothing. Um, in fact, they 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 were talking about taking me off the the medication for side effects because I don't have any side effects at all. You know the doses are so low that I don't have any side effects. Um, why did they do it? I don't know. They didn't even tell me they did it. I read it on the prescription bottle this month. The last couple weeks, I've been taking two pills a day when I'm only supposed to take one pill a day. I didn't even I didn't even read it. I didn't read the label because it's always been the same and nobody told me they changed it. But anyway, they reduced the medication. Why did they do that? Um, probably because, you know, I'm in a trauma-based mind control program. Um, I think there's probably some other kind of brain research going on with me. I mean, I'm pure experimental. Um, and they don't want me all drugged up. Um, you know, even when I was in the fake psych ward, uh, they were giving me Ativan. And I was taking Ativan because they were trying to make me angry and all this stuff. So, you know, I'd go ask for an Ativan so I could settle down and relax and all this stuff. You know, but they can block your medications from not working. Somehow they can block, block the stuff. You know, so it doesn't have any effect on you. You know, like Ativan didn't didn't have much of an, an effect on me. Um, you know, I was probably taking a half a milligram. Uh, you know, a PRN. You know, as needed. You know, so I was taking probably a half a half a um, half a milligram. You know, zero point five milligrams of Ativan when I was in the fake psych ward. But they they're like, oh, we don't want you to. take We're gonna take you off Ativan. We don't we don't want you on that because it makes you a little, ugh, you know, that's how they described it to me, <laughs> you know, makes you a little out of it, you know, and stuff. So obviously they're doing some kind of, you know, they're doing trauma-based mind control. I, to you know, you know, I totally know that, but they could also be doing some kind of other brain research, you know, um, you know, maybe, uh, you know, when I was getting hit super hard, they were doing, like, behavior mod modification. You know, trying to bring out all these different behaviors out in me, induced. You know, it was induced by them, making me angry, and they'd make you worried, make you agitated, make you, you know, all these different feelings they would put in you. 
and um, that's when I was getting hit super hard. Um, now I don't know, you know, I mean I get a lot of remote neural monitoring and a lot of remote neural manipulation, but they don't really do behaviors that much and I don't get that much torture but when I get tortured I get it hard to where you know I'm almost calling 911 you know and saying get me the hell out of here I'm being tortured blah, blah you know that's what I feel like saying sometimes when they torture me hard because they push me to that that you know they push me that far sometimes where it's like you want to call for help because they're hitting you so hard but they don't do it very often but when they do I get it I get it really hard um and it's hard to bear you know I can barely stand it and stuff so I kind of want to talk about that tonight um you know it's uh um you know I I think you know I don't know what they're doing to me um you know it could be a lot of brain research you know you know these guys uh, you know, there's all kinds of different things they want to look at. Um, you know, they, they want to see how you're learning through this. They want to see how good your grammar is. They want to see if you spell there, you know, T-H-E-R-E, -E, they want to make sure you're spelling there or there, you know, like there football. They want to know if you're if you're spelling the right words, using the correct word for what you're trying to say. You know, they're looking at all these things. They they were doing that in the psych ward even too. They were. Uh, I had a roommate one time, and the staff member was in there, fake staff member. He was a perp, and uh, they were writing on a on a chalkboard, and he's like, "Okay, today is Wednesday," and then he would say. Oh, but how do you spell Wednesday? I forgot how to spell Wednesday. You know, and of course I was in there and I'm like, okay, that you know, I know how to spell Wednesday and and you know, and stuff like that. They they do things like that. There's all kinds of different aspects of this program they look at. You know, they wanna they wanna see all kinds of things. It's not just trauma. You know, they wanna see if you know they wanna see all kinds of things like that. So it's really something, you know. I mean, we really don't know what their goals are and stuff like that. But they, they look at all. They look at everything, you know. Um, I don't know if they just do it. Maybe they do it a lot for react reactions or whatever. But they, I don't know. They do all kinds of things in this program. It's really amazing. Really, it's disgusting, but it's amazing at the same time because. Nobody believes this technology, <laughs> you know. I mean, we're begging and crying for help, and nobody believes us. Nobody cares. Nobody stops to do anything. Uh, as far as the uh, billboards go, you know why? You know they're they're raising all this money for billboards mainly from Americans. Why are they putting up billboards in Germany and the UK and all this stuff, all over the world? We should, you know, if they got a big, a bunch of people donating to these billboards, we should be flooding the USA with these billboards. You know, it, it's, what they're doing is not effective. You know, it's not, it's not doing anything. You know, it's just, yeah, we're putting up billboards. Well, pe apparently people don't care. If we put five up in a month, you know, maybe we'd get somewhere. But they don't seem to be doing anything. I haven't heard any feedback on these billboards. You know, we haven't, nobody said anything. And then they, they're they putting them up around different countries and stuff like that. Well, who's paying for that? Are, are, and are Americans paying for that? Are they donating to these billboards? And, you know, well, let's put one up in Australia and, and Germany and all this stuff. You know, who's paying for that? I don't know who's paying for that. I don't know. Why aren't we keeping it in the USA where this has started? You know, we need to flood the US with billboards if we can. If people are donating their money and all that stuff, 
I don't know why they're not keeping it in the USA where this all started and stuff like that. It just, you know, that brings me to another point. I want to talk about something. Um, well, there's a couple more things I want to talk about. Um, so, you know, activism. You know, you have to ask yourself. I ask myself this because I wrote to Marco Rubio. I was doing activism. I wrote to Marco Rubio. Mentioned myself and I mentioned all the targets across this country. You know, we're all being hurt. We're all suffering and all this stuff. They gave me a heart attack. Gave me a heart attack. You know, couldn't breathe hardly. Went to the hospital. You should have seen these guys work on me. They were all working on me. They had me upstairs in surgery in 20 minutes. You know, they were doing x-rays, IVs, uh, ultrasounds, all this stuff. And then they put two stents in me to save my life. They were, they were working on me like you wouldn't believe. Okay, so I went through all that because I wrote to Marco Rubio. So you have to ask yourself. You know, like I say, we're infiltrated. How do these people, how do they do everything without getting hit? You know, how, how are, are people in this community doing activism and they're not getting hit any harder? All the, all the real TIs that I know that do activism get nailed. They get nailed. You know, they get nailed. How in the heck do these other people in this community do activists? They're big activists. How do they not get hit any harder? They don't seem to get hit. They're, they're awake. They're alert when they talk. They're well-spoken when they talk. They don't have any memory problems. Um, they don't... You know, their their speech isn't broken up because they're being remote near monitored at the same time, like I get a lot of times. Sometimes I can hardly talk because they're putting images in my head. You know? Um, and I have a hard time remembering things. I have a hard time reading things because they're remote near monitoring me all the time. I can hardly read a book because they're hitting me. You know, anything that interferes with this technology and dampens this technology, they're going to hit you. You know, like reading a book or watching a video or watching TV or whatever. If you're dampening that connection, that neural link, they don't like that. And they're going to hit you more because you're interfering with that neural link, dampening it. So how in the heck do these activists in the community... How do they do all this stuff? How do they do all this stuff and not get hit? They act like they're not being hit. They're always in a good mood. They're well spoken. They're they seem fine. They're cheery. They they're upbeat and all this stuff. Why is that? Every every real TI that I know tries to do activism and they try to stop it. They get hit hard. And they try to stop you from doing activism. You know, so I have been asking myself that lately. We are infiltrated, you guys. CIA is running this community. Um, if people don't think that, they're not with it. You know, I mean, really, you know, you're talking about the CIA, the best agency in the world. You know, I mean, you know, of course they're running this community. You think they're just going to let us do what we want? No. They're letting stuff happen because they want it to happen. If they didn't want it to happen, they would stop it. You know, they can do anything they want. You know, so I want to mention that. Anyway, I'm going to have to cut this off pretty soon because my dogs are barking. But um, I seen a video on Facebook. It was from YouTube. This guy was on there um, making a video. He was straight to the point, uh, very firm in his message and he he was saying he's like half of the half of the TIs out there making videos and all this stuff are fake you know and I kind of agree with him you know um I kind of agree with him 
You know, I mean, he was, he, I think he was a real TI because he was saying, if you're a real TI, they, they chase away your friends, your family and all that stuff. And, you know, that's what being a real TI is. And they mess with your car, which they've done to me. They lit my van on fire. You know, all this stuff. You know, they do all these bad things to us. Keep us isolated and all that stuff. You know, I'm, I'm isolated. You know, I haven't seen my brothers. My brother lives three miles away. I haven't seen my brother in three, in uh, two and a half years since I was in the hospital for my heart attack. That's the last time I've seen him. That was two and a half years ago. You know, they get everyone involved. And he was talking about all these TIs that say they have friends, they have all these friends, and they go out, and uh, all this stuff, you know. I've kind of asked myself the same question. In the same way with dating, you know, oh, you got all these, all these, TIs that are dating other TIs and all this stuff. Bullshit. You know, come on. You know, they can let me have a girlfriend. You kidding me? They'll turn her into a perp. They'll turn her into a perp in a heartbeat. And they'll pay her, you know, to be a perp. You know, they can let me have a girlfriend. You guys, are they going to let you have a girlfriend? Come on. You know, so... I, I totally agree with this guy. I don't know what his name is. I forgot what his name is. But he was talking about all this stuff. And I, I, I agree with him because I've been there. You know, they, they get your friends involved. If you do have friends, they get them involved in validating technology and all this stuff. Like my friends, 